Because here's the deal with the 50-50 Senate. It's 50 and 50 in name only. There are a handful of Republicans in the Senate, Republicans, who are so moderate that they often vote with the Democrats. Susan Collins in Maine, maybe the worst. Uh, you throw in maybe Mitt Romney in Utah. There's a couple others. There are Republicans who are very moderate. And there's only two Democrats. Joe Manchin, and he's the senator in West Virginia. It's one of the reddest states in the country. But he's an old school Democrat, right? So he'll vote for the Republicans with the Republicans sometimes. But they got him on the Inflation Reduction Act, right? Uh, this big uh, environmental bill. They got the guy from the coal state. They bought him off. So they'll end, he'll end up voting with the Democrats when they really need him. And maybe Kirsten Sinema, who, as we did a dive into Arizona yesterday, uh, Arizona's a more and more purple state. She could be a pain to the Democrats as well. But the point is, a 50-50 Senate strongly favors the Democrats. And add to the list of Republicans who vote Democrat, Lisa Murkowski of Alaska. She voted against confirming Brett Kavanaugh to the Supreme Court. You kidding me? She voted to convict Donald Trump for January 6th. What, what good is she as a Republican? This is from the Washington Times. They found that, that Lisa Murkowski, again, Republican senator from Alaska, voted with Trump 73% of the time, second lowest to behind Susan Collins. And in the first nine months of Biden, she voted with Biden 79% of the time. So she says, like, that's a rock solid vote for Biden. So if you are a Republican in Alaska, you have a Democrat senator right now. Lisa Murkowski, for all intents and purposes, is a Democrat senator. So here's what you need to know as you're watching this right now. As we get closer and closer to the election, and early on election night, when you hear all the other commentators on the TV tell you, let's say Lisa Murkowski wins, rinse her re-election, they're going to tell you a Republican one. But know that they're wrong. She's a Democrat. She voted with Joe Biden 79% of the time. These commentators, they say that the race in Alaska is between two Republicans. It's not. Lisa Murkowski is a Democrat. 